In our special series this morning, we are taking you back to school. Real Estate 101. This hour, we are examining how one of the most important things you can do when trying to sell your home could as, be as easy as hiring a photographer. Yeah, so Stacey Spano, she joins us live again. So, Stacey, you are actually a licensed real estate agent, and you say good photos are so important. And I love it. You said it earlier. You compare it to online dating. Why? Yeah, this is interesting. want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've ever been on an online dating app or know someone who has, I'm told oftentimes it boils down to the pictures. The same thing goes in real estate. Uh, bad pictures of your home can make a buyer skip past your perfectly good house. Great bones, great lighting, great pictures. Good photography is meant to highlight your home and can be the spark that ignites interest from buyers as they scroll through home after home during online searches. But where these photos are light, bright, and framed right, sometimes people post photos of homes for sale that make professional real estate photographer Tina Casto cringe. What kind of bad photography have you seen? <laughs> Well, anytime you use cell phone photos, that's really where it can be um, a little sketchy. Um, not all phones are created equal. <laughs> Casto has been taking pictures of homes for five years and says, yes, sometimes do-it-yourself photos turn out okay, but not all the time. Take a look at these pictures. They were taken by a pro. The house looks bright and crystal clear. Now take a look at these. They're of the same house, but they were shot on a cell phone camera. They're dark, don't show well, definitely not high quality. When you don't have professional photography, um, you're prob probably losing uh, out on some potential buyers because that first impression is what they see and make that decision on one of the, whether or not they want to spend their time to go out and see that home. So what's the cost of those pretty pictures? Professional photos can cost anywhere from $100 to $300 plus per session. Drone photography, floor plans, and videos will cost more. And who pays for it? If you're listing with a real estate agent, usually the agent does. If you're selling your own house, you'll pick up the tab. Steve Cobb helped sell his mother's house in Arlington's University Park neighborhood last year. He had the home staged, and had professional photos taken. The man who bought the home never even saw the house in person before he closed on it. The ultimate buyer never even came to the house. So it was all done online, which means the only thing that represents your house are the pictures that um, people can see. And that's a pretty strong endorsement right there for having good photography. I want to show you again the sexy bathroom since you all seem to like it so much. Tina Casto, the photographer we featured in that story, does have some words of advice before you have your photographs taken or whether you're taking them yourself or not. She says one of the things that you want to remove is the clutter around your home, of course. You don't want to highlight any mess that you have in your house. Any personal photographs you have on the walls, take them down. You want a buyer to be able to envision themselves living in that space. Also, some families have their kids' names stenciled on the wall or have photographs of their children on the wall. She says you want to have that removed just for a safety purpose. You don't want anybody, any creeper, to be looking at your kid and knowing that Mackenzie lives in that house. Also, remove anything that can be interpreted as controversial or anything. If you're in a high-sensitive job, remove that too. Remember, all of these pictures are being disseminated, not just in your local area, but around the world. So you want to protect yourself as much as possible. Vic, Lauren, back to you. Mm -hmm. I, and listen, Stace, and my mom's going to get very upset at me for calling uh -huh. her out right now, but she's been a real estate agent for almost 40 years, and obviously times have changed, and watching her with her cell phone try to take pictures of homes, cringeworthy, cringeworthy. So I'm trying to help her, so I'm going to probably pass along this story to her, <laughs> Stace, so, and it's going to come from you, not me. Yeah. Stacy Spano well, said listen, this. I mean, it depends on it depends on the market that you're trying to go for. If she's selling, you know, an as-is home, you know, that's one thing. But if you're trying to get the highest value you can for a home, you obviously want to make it look as great as possible. Sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Stacy Spanos, appreciate it. Get back in that bathroom, okay? <laughs>